Governor Greg Abbott is pushing schools to focus on mental health. He's calling upon state lawmakers to expand mental health screenings to help teachers and staff identify students with at-risk behaviors early. This all comes after the deadly shootings that took the lives of 10 people at Santa Fe High School earlier this year. As part of our Generation Under Fire series, our Roseanne Aragon tells us more about the governor's plan and what local leaders are suggesting. It's all part of the governor's safety action plan. He hopes that investing in mental health in schools will give teachers and students the tools they need to identify those at risk. As the community here in Santa Fe and all over the nation continue to heal. The entire state of Texas embraces you. Governor Greg Abbott is going full steam ahead with his plan to secure schools and keep students safe. In May, the governor asked state lawmakers to consider a $20 million budget expansion for mental health services in schools to hire more counselors, social workers, and professionals. It's a health issue that is not talked about a lot. Our kids are under extreme amount of pressure that a lot of us did not grow up under. Um, they're, they're, there's so much technology. They're exposed to so much in the media. There's so much peer pressure to do well. The governor highlighted the telemedicine wellness intervention triage and referral project by Texas Tech. It trains staff to identify and intervene with students who pose at-risk behaviors. It also trains staff to know signs of depression and anxiety. With parent permission, students identified would then get professional help in person or online. The stats are just so um, disheartening. Dr. Don Brown is a licensed adolescent child psychiatrist who sees many students online. So if you can Consider telemedicine. It's an open door for um, the community who otherwise would not be able to see a psychiatrist. Long waiting lists, um, inaccurate providing of care by their insurance. Some are non-insured. The Senate Select Committee report on violence in schools put out similar recommendations this month. While health professionals agree that having a mental illness does not make someone more violent, they say focusing on mental health in schools is a good thing. They've got to be able to talk about their feelings. They've got to be able to express themselves. Now we've put together a list of mental health resources and have more information on those programs on our website. Click to Houston.com slash Generation Under Fire. In Houston, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.